This is Hadish here. I'm going to talk about uh, Sitecore Experience Accelerator uh, and from YouTube channel SX SA Tech Technology. Okay. Uh, let us discuss about introduction of SXA. SXA means Sitecore Experience Accelerator. Um, it is capable of it is it has a pool of produce producing website with minimum span of time it has lot of reusable components layout templates available and it the main feature about is if if we can run this introduction we can use a success to do the development process in parallel like u18 we can do in development process parallel and uh, Development and development uh, development results work parallel, and backend team can work parallel. Okay, the parallel work can be enabled using the, using this SXA. This will minimize overall development time and which reduce the cost of the many making of the project. Then let us discuss about the features of SXA. SXA normally have we are I'm already said parallel execution and. It has a lot of reusable responsive renderings. It has a bunch of themes, and it has a lot of grid systems. Grid systems, which has ability to plug a components or rendering in a row and column format. These are the concepts covered in this session. I am going to cover that is tenant and size toolbox. Grid and column layout, pluggable themes, page design and partial designs, creative exchange, shared and content and presentation, asset optimizer, data modeling, and finally I will give a demo. Tenant and site. This is nothing but everything you are going to do in the site success. We need to create a tenant first, in that you need to create a site. Tenant while creating itself, you can select the model. Model nothing but the features. The predefined features you can select, which are, are required for the tenant and applicable for the tenant. And we have we have a lot of security roles. We can select before we are creating a website. Uh, the toolbox option. So once you create a tenant and you create a website, if you go to the experience editor, you will find a toolbox. Toolbox, you have a lot of reusable drag and drag components are available. You can just drag the components and you can use use it for now. One example you can have a rich text box. You can drag the rich text box and you can tag the content or you can just edit the content as well. Grid and column layout. SXA has a responsive grid and column layout, so it will adjust according to the devices and it has a if you need to enable the red grid and column layout, you need to in the view menu you have to go to show and grid. So here we have row and column splitters. Pluggable themes. Um, SX is uh, another feature pluggable themes. You can download a theme and you can include the theme here. You can export a theme to your UI team and you can import the theme here. Uh, normally everything in a page is a partial design. So you need to create a partial design. Collection of partial design is called as page design. Partial design has a lot of, uh, you can add a, add a component to it from the toolbar and you can, you can design the page. Creative exchange. Creative exchange means uh, it allows us to, once you create a website, you have uh, include your theme, you have to apply the changes, you want a styling to be applied, so what you do is you just create, an, uh, you create a zip file by exporting the content from the CMS and then you can forward to the UA team, the UA team can unzip it and they, they, they can modify the CSS and they can uh, CSS or JSS and they can, uh, uh, they can again rezip it and uh, you can import that rezip file and the uh, changes will be get back to your CMS. Or else you can use Visual Studio environment. You can through Gulp you can synchronize the content between CMS and your solution. 
shared and content and everything is shareable here so nothing to discuss much everything is shareable between the tenants so presentation everything will be shareable so asset optimization we are we are going to discuss about the serial styling js scripts asserts will be optimized while going to the production the performance of the site should be uh, increased so we can reduce the amount of data that need to be transferred asset optimization enable to do minification and uh, eliminate other unwanted comments from the css and js scripts data modeling uh, we can uh, we can we can create the data modeling in javascript notations model the data in javascript notation jsha so by using a, a special rendering J, J, javascript rendering jsha rendering uh, by using web search apis we can connect to that uh, uh, sx content or else you can use a typical sx layer rendering and you can use a sx layer service to return item in json format so finally, uh, I'm going to show you a demo so, how to create a website, how to create a tenant and the website and how to create a home page, how to export and uh, import in the uh, send to your team. Your team has uh, you can able to change the uh, CSS and then return back and this will be imported in your site and the changes will be reflected back to your site. This I am going to show you a demo in this video. I am going to show a demo about how to create a uh, website in SXA using XSA. So now I am going to install a site code um, PowerShell and SXA. Installing it. I am installing PowerShell. So now I am uploading SXA package. Package is installed. So I'm going back. You see the power cell here, the texture. <coughs> if you expand the template, you will see the future templates are available, future foundation templates are available the content i am going to create a tenant and inside the website and inside the tenant i am going to create a website i am going to demo here right click i am inserting a tenant uh, tenant basically as we discussed in the ppt in the PPT show um, that uh, it has ability to select what are the features required theme required and roles required okay yeah, I'm entering an edge currents which you can select or unselect. I'm going to create a tenant for it. Tenant is created, so I'm creating a site. So I am giving a site name as landing page. Host name as my landing page. If I want, I can select the features. I am going to create a theme for the customizable theme. 
and create a new theme here and name it as a project name website name at the nurture curve uh, executing it so it will create a website done let us see the website it has uh, now landing page website is created as a home media data and presentation settings nothing as data is for the data source of the template entering items everything created here presentation will have page and partial design and renderings are very component here now uh, i am going to experience editor i'm going to view in the experience editor i'm going to add the components loading taking pretty much time now this is a tool bar so you can drag and drop components from this tool bar which are required having a header place order main and port so i'm adding a component image component to header i'm going to select an uploading image to media library and assigning to this data source So I'm adding a stack box in the folder. Name it as folder. So I'm making it as good boy guys. Ink. Good guys ink. Saving it. Going to add the page content that is title, main placeholder, and we are going to run the text box page content. See, if there is a placeholder highlighted. automatically created to i edit the plugin what i made at i'm checking the white header settings the theme plugin theme so i'm just changing my wireframe theme to default wireframe theme to net cache theme saving it reviewing it get like this 
Actually, it's not enough. I have to add the title here. Add the page content as well. I'm searching for page content. I found a site. It's not too good. We'll go on down. Uh, this is pretty much good. The page content. So I'm applying the page content to the this text box. Yeah, it's done. Welcome to our news landing page. I'm giving a title like this. Now the site look like pretty much good. So now the site is ready, our home page is ready, I am exporting to a zip file. So in order to the creative agency or UA team to style it again. Style it, uh, after style it I will uh, re-zip it and, and uh, I upload here, the changes will be reflected back to here. Zipping it, I'm editing the HTML file in Visual Studio. It's pretty much good. See the scripts, classes, text, everything here. I wanna going to create a new CSS file and I want to style it. I want to make the title a little bit bigger and header, I minimize header top white space and put a top white space. Going here, create a custom CSS. I'm adding a custom CSS here. CSS, a few additional custom CSS I am applying here, font and for the header and footer as well. Title, font size, font weight, bold. This is class name, which will be a title, component title, yeah, got header component title uh, image I will, we will reduce the top header top empty space similarly for footer as well Pretty much done here. I'm going to zip it again and uh, import it in my CMS. Import it. Yes. Upload it. 
Vemos. See the changes we have added. It has created with CSS system CSS. We will publish the content. Publish the site. After publish, I will browse my domain name mylandingpage.com. I will see the changes reflected back here. I'm browsing the side now. You see the title here and it is bigger and uh, empty space is minimized. Footer is corrected. So everything looks fine. So this is all about this video. If you have any doubts regarding this, just comment it out. If you and I uh, advise to everyone to subscribe my channel and share the links to your friends and colleagues. Thank you very much. Good luck guys. Bye bye.